All right, guys. So uh, we have two more tasks to do. The first task is to create a section in our admin panel where we'll be updating all the orders. And the second task is to create a screen in our mobile application where we'll be notifying the client what is the status of their order. So let's get started. At first, we will be updating the uh, admin panel. So let me open the admin panel. And as we have already created one page called My Orders, so here we'll be uh, giving two options. The first is to modify the page or to edit the status of the order. And the second one is to update, uh, sorry, and the second one is to uh, delete the order. So let me go to our uh, file manager and let me try reloading this page. Let me see if I can still able to update this uh, files or not. So I am currently logged in. And now we will go to my orders. We have to do a few modifications as well. So here in our PHP code, we have written select from, select star from checkout. And here we'll be giving one more uh, condition that is order by ID BESC, which means that the latest order will come on the top of the screen in this way. And here are the serial numbers. Now what we will be doing, at first we will be giving the delete option, all right? So for giving the delete option, we have already given the uh, two icons from Fontosum. I don't know why it's not uh, loading up. Uh, I think the library of Fontosum is not working correct. So let me go to uh, header one or maybe header.php. And uh, here I can see we have loaded the bootstrap thing. And we will again go to header1.php. Let me see if we have used the font awesome library or not. But unfortunately, I am not able to see the library of font awesome. So we will now go to font uh, Google and we will search font awesome library, font awesome CDN content delivery network. And uh, from the website called CDN.js, we will be able to copy the CSS of font awesome. And now let us paste this thing over here, sorry, just after the bootstrap CSS file. And now let us reload this uh, thing. Now I'm able to see the icons here, okay? Uh, we have uh, used the icons in orders page. We have already used the icons uh, in the orders page. Here are the icon names. And if you're not sure, or if you have forgotten from where we can find the icons, then you can simply go to the website called Fontosum. And here, whatever icon you need, you can simply search it on uh, their website using this search bar. And like, if you need the delete button, then you can just uh, uh, search T-R-A-S-H. So this is the thing which you can use, or if you need edit, we can simply uh, type edit. So here are all the icons, uh, the icons where we where the word pro is not written, you can easily use those icons for free. All right. So now the page is looking a bit good. At first, let us create the delete button. To create the delete button, uh, we will here add a, a one anchor text, a it's ref, and sorry, and now we will close the anchor text, and inside the link or the anchor text, we'll be writing it as uh, let me go page equal to orders. So here, I will write page index.php and page will be delete this order and ID will be the order ID. So ID will be this ID. Right. Okay. But till now we haven't uh, designed the page or we have not uh, uh, developed the page called delete this orders. Now we will also show one uh, JavaScript alert before we uh, delete the order or before we uh, go to the page called delete this order, we will be showing one uh, JavaScript alert or uh, we can also use some nice alerts from uh, the website called Sweet Alert. 
But for the time being, we won't be using SweetAlert, which have a very good UI. But for the time being, to save our time, we won't be using SweetAlert. Instead, we will be using JavaScript uh, alert for uh, maybe JavaScript on click alert. So now let us copy this uh, on click method and we will be pasting it over here. And now just af uh, after completing the body part, we'll be writing a script our IPT and now here we will write this function you hit we will go to this section and let us paste this function and we will go to the order space and then let us click on it I can see I am an alert box here. So the last thing which we have to do now, okay, one, two, three. We will have to go to alert. The last thing which we will have to do here is to change the alert message. Instead of I am an alert box, we will write uh, like, are you sure? you want to delete this order if someone clicks on yes then he will be redirected to that page now we will go to index.php page and then here we will copy the else if method and we will write here delete this order and the name of the page will be let's delete this order dot php order okay and now we will go to this page we will reload the page once again and let me mouse over on it delete this order and now we will have to go to the file manager inside INC. We will have to create a new file called delete this order. And now let me open the PHP code and let us go to academy.webotab.com. And in our block, let us go to the crude function. And from here, let me copy the delete function and paste it over here. So here we have to write delete from your table. Instead of your table, we have to write delete from checkout where ID will be ID. And instead of this ID, let us write dollar underscore get or request ID. And then if the orders get successfully deleted, we will be redirecting the user to again to this page. Index.php page will be orders. All right. So now let me delete the ID number three. Are you sure you want to delete this order? And if I just click on it, I can see I am on the page called delete disorder and ID is three. And if I just click over here on orders again, oh, this ID has not been deleted. Now I have to go to, I can see one more thing that is the redirection method here is not working. There may be one more chance that the variable PDO, we have not used the variable as PDO in our database.php file. 
Now, if I just go to orders and click on ID number three, now I can see record has been successfully deleted. And if I just go to checkout and reload the page, I'll be able to see that ID one, two, and four, three has been deleted from this screen, sorry, from this database. And uh, what we will be doing now is to go to delete this order. Sorry, not over here. We'll be going to either login body or register body. And in the last time, just a moment and the uh, header we will be going to register this body okay so let us copy this line and paste it in order delete order so uh, we have written this method not in the correct way and let us try now We'll go to orders page once again and let me delete the order number four. If I click on OK, now I can see the user is again redirected to uh, the orders page. Now, if I just uh, delete order number two as well and order number one as well, all the orders have now been deleted from one to four. Now, let me go to our IDE and if I just go to the home screen, and if I just add the product to our card, and if I just go to checkout, let me write the name as Sima, and the mobile number is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think eleven. We can select any state here, and the complete address here, and if I just click on submit. I can see who your order has now been successfully completed. And now if I just reload the order space, I can see this order has now been uh, uh, showing in the orders uh, screen of our admin panel. The last thing which we have to do is to create the edit function or to uh, give the function of updating this order. For that, I will create one new page, just like the order space delete order page. Let me create one new page here. And the name of the page will be update order or edit order. Let us write update this order dot PHP. And then we will go to index page. And just like we have updated the delete order Thing. In the same way, we will write update order over here and update this order will be our new page. Now we will again go to INC and then we will go to orders body just like we have created the hyperlink for the delete function. In the same way, we will create the hyperlink for our edit page. For editing the order. Now we don't need on click function. All right, and here let us close the encoder. Now let us reload the page, and here I can see the link has now been uh, showing in this uh, icon. And if I just go to the editor once again, what I have to do is to write update instead of delete. Now if I just reload the page and click on the edit function, now I can see it is taking me to update order and the ID here is 11. Now we will go to update order or before going to the update order what we can do I think uh, for that uh, we will be going to products. All right. So let us go to the page called products body. And we will copy all the codes. And now we will go to update order. And we will be pasting all the codes over here. 
Now, if any user goes to orders and click on edit button, here we will be modifying the status of the order. All right. So we will be simply showing one field and the name of the field will be called uh, update status. Delete column D3, we'll be deleting it. And instead of column D9, we'll be writing as column D12. And here, let us update it as orders so that after the form gets submitted, the user gets redirected to the orders page. And we have one field over here. And we will be deleting all the other fields from this form we can even show all the details of the client in this order but we won't be showing as of now so update status instead of uh, the input text what we will do is to give HTML select name will be like new status and class will be form control and here we will be writing the option values at first let us give the option as select and then we will be updating the status the first is order confirmed then order saved then out for delivery and then delivered and now let us go to this page if I just click on it I can see all the uh, values here now I can easily delete this thing and I will copy the new status. Here we have several data for inserting the images, but since we don't have any image now, so we can delete it. And we will be updating update products set. We'll be updating this uh, values here. So let me at first create the variable called new status will be dollar underscore post new status and now we have to update the this thing uh, the checkout table and for that we have to create one new column here and it will be called as status default value will be null and we will click on save button so we can see the status for all the orders as null we will only be updating this status update checkout set status and status will be new status here we'll be writing where id is let us write new id will be dollar underscore get id now let me call and paste it over here save we don't need this uh, post as well
and let me click on save button order confirm update and let me go to this page I can see the order confirm has been shown here so once the user clicks on the submit button he should be redirected to the orders page once again index.php question page will be orders and let us click on save file now we will go to orders and then we will go to the sixth order okay we will reload the page once again and now let us update the order and if I just click on browse I can see that this the status of this order has been shown as zip the last thing which we have to do is to go to orders page once again uh, in the quote editor and here I will give a new status new column Call status. Even here as status. And even here as status. Okay. Let me reload the page. I can see the status of all the orders here. So this is all about updating the orders page in the next video we'll be creating a new screen in our flutter application called my orders and we will be showing the status of the orders uh, of the user in the screen thank you for watching this video subscribe this channel for further updates